Hi, I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot. Welcome back to another deck review. Today we're going to be looking at the Eau de Lenormand, um, and it is a very interesting deck because it's a reprint of the original cards from, 19, uh, from, <laughs> from 1799. And they have been reprinted with the kind permission of the British Museum in London. Um, you will see when I say that the deck is edited by Alexander Glick, you will see that, um, you'll see exactly what I mean. The, the cards are kind of a, um, a, a game. They were, they were started off, they started off as a game in the 1700s. And um, it was like a normal card game until the, the sort of advent of telling fortunes and laying out uh, spreads and things came about. So it comes in this box. It is a, a very, it's a Foro Lenormand deck. It's very big. It's very square. It comes in this nice little box. The only thing I have a problem with is when you first get the box, it's really difficult to open. But once you start using the cards, it tends to open a little bit easier. Okay, there are no finger holes or anything. It's a lovely box. Everything is in sepia, by the way. It comes with a little booklet. Um, Der Spiel der Hoffnung, Eure Le Normand. And there it is. Um, gives you the English version right at the back. It gives you all kinds of stuff um, about the Le Normand cards. Okay, not a hell of a lot, but it's, it's cutesy cutesy. Now, I'm going to literally rush through these cards. We all know what Lenormand cards look like. They all have the same symbols. I just want you to get a feel for these cards. There we go. Now the cards are interesting. They have the rider. Okay, that's the rider. That's the first, it's the, the picture. You get the normal playing card reference and then that is the German playing card reference. You'll see there are different figures. So this is hearts. Okay, there's number two, the clover. That's diamonds. And that's what German diamonds looked like in those days. Okay, here we have the ship. Clubs, that's what their clubs used to look like. Then we have the house. Okay, association is the queen of hearts. That's what their queen of hearts looked like. And so forth and so forth. Then we have the tree. We have the clouds. If you need to pause this and have a good look, you're more than welcome to. Here we have the snake or the serpent. We have the coffin. Okay, there's the coffin. You see, they've even they've even kept the the, the look of the, the actual originals where the, the paper looks slightly burnt. Here we have the bouquet, or as some would call it, the bucket. <laughs> Here we have the scythe. We have the lilies. We have the bird or birds. We have the child card. We have the fox. Here we have the bear. Not a hell of a fan of that bear card, but anyway. Here we have the star. We have the stork. He's eating a frog, if you look carefully. Love that. We have the dog. We have the tower. We have the garden. Here we have the mountains. And we have the crossroads. There's a road, there's a road. We have the mice or the mouth. We have the heart. We have the ring. Very easy to pick up what, um, what it is. Here we have the book or the journal. We have the letter. We have the gentleman. We have the lady. They only come with one. We have the lilies i think i don't know what the other one was that was the this is the lilies this is the lilies okay here we have the sun here we have the moon very simple we have the key we have the fish we have the anchor and we have the cross very historical very old looking um very easy to read, very easy to, to note if you are in the um, actual big grand tableau. You can see immediately what these things are, okay? The back of the card looks like this, okay? You don't read reversals in Lenormand, so it doesn't really matter, but that's the back of the card, beautiful. Card stock is great, really good, okay? Uh, they are semi-gloss, so you, you'll easily be able to read outside with these. And of course, as I said to you, they are square, so they're not your usual tiny little Lenormand deck. It's much bigger, and it, the cards are square. 
So yeah, that is the Erle Norman, Das Spiel, das Spiel der Hoffnung. All right, that just, I think, means the game of some something. Uh, correct me if I'm wrong. Leave a comment down below if you've got this, or if you've heard of it, or if you've used it, and let me know what your thoughts are. I'm Matt from Tubby Tarot, and I'll see you next Sunday for another deck review.